Hey, hey you. Let me see what you've got under there. Go on. Pekka. Oh. Why are you still speaking? How awkward. See, the thing is, just stop. No one cares what you have to say. Until next time. Ha! Here today, gone tomorrow. An illusion. Life's a dream. This fellow must be quite proud of himself. Huh. Clever. Didn't I tell you to leave? Wasn't I clear that you're not welcome here? <sighs> you can't teach a fool anything. That was even easier.
Pathetic boy. It's a riddle, isn't it? Um, a conundrum. Uh, what's it? You'll have to solve. I thought you looked clueless, all right? Thing is, it's about the letters, isn't it? One for each thing. Easy. Yeah, sure. Hope you don't die. Well, nice to meet you too. Rude. Thing. You come to find. You come to search. But you won't find the way. A pity. Bracchus has willed it. Trompdoy must abide. You have met the unfortunate guardian of this vault. Judge him with a forgiving heart. Fate has been unkind to him. Do you wish to move forward? Listen closely and make your attempt. Bracchus is a bloody, rotten, thieving, very, very awful fellow. Some even call him a cur. A cur is... Either you're very good at guessing or the slightest bit clever. Let's find out for certain. Listen closely and make your attempt. Source is a scourge, a devil, a misery, a blight, a hex, a curse. And yet, the cure is... Perhaps you're not totally incapable after all. Or maybe Trompdoy told you the answers, is that it? Is he hoping you'll... It doesn't matter in any case. The path is open. Go freely.
As you pick up the ring, you feel a cold, dark pain shoot up your arm. Your mind itches. You don't hear, but feel a whisper in your ear. That's plenty. Look at that wand. It hums with the inner source. The jar before you may have looked opulent once, but no longer. Now it's covered in grime, its paint chipped away, and its jewels long stolen. The soul jar rocks slightly, light flashing from underneath its lid. On its rim, you can just barely make out the name Gratiana. As soon as you touch the jar's cracked surface, you see a vision of splendor. Silks, fine food, and decadent lechery. But underneath it all lies bone and blood. The vision shifts. You see burning villages, slaughtered women and children. You see her, purging wand in hand, standing amongst it all. She throws her head back and laughter echoes in your skull. A shadow falls across her and you see a large weeping face. She reaches out as if to comfort, but Bracchus drags her back. You see her fall into the mire of the swamp, trapped. As you pull your hand away, you can feel a deep longing sadness in your soul. Is it regret or just sadness for a life that used to be? You, you made it all this way. I'm... I'm sorry. He trembles and seems to shudder with a quiet sob. I'm cursed, you know. Bloody Bracchus bound me here to protect his vault. He has my soul in that jar just there, and I can't leave without it. As long as the jar stays unbroken, I can never truly die. I don't rightly know. This was the Source King's way. Befriend you, then destroy you. I was a fool to expect I'd be an exception. His favor was intoxicating. That's no excuse, but it is the reason. Really? You... you would? He drops to his knees before you and grabs onto your feet with both hands, head hanging. Thank you. 